Good evening, folks. Today I am pleased to announce the return of a soft drink from my childhood. The one, the only, Crystal Pepsi. Now before I talk about it, I just want to zoom in here and show you what it looks like. It's... This was an original product that came out uh, about 20 years ago, back in the early 90s. And it, it looked a little different back then. It was in a blue can. I don't think they had these plastic bottles back then. Everything now is plastic. They got away from glass. They got away from... You can still get aluminum, but for some reason, these Crystal Pepsis are only available in 20-ounce plastic bottles. So I guess the days of drinking Crystal Pepsi out of a can are behind us, unless you go on eBay and buy one that's 20 years old. Anyway, uh, this is Crystal Pepsi right here, the real McCoy. This unique beverage was only on the market for a short time, but I remember it well because I thought it was strange that a clear liquid could taste like Pepsi. Ah, the 90s. The Simpsons was the most popular animated sitcom on television. The President of the United States got caught boinking an intern. Mike Tyson was the heavyweight champion of the world. And MC Hammer hadn't yet filed for bankruptcy. Those were the days. I would like to talk about the history of Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi is a soft drink made by PepsiCo from 1992 to 1993 and briefly in December 2015 in the United States. It was also sold for a short time in Canada and Australia. Crystal Pepsi was sold for a longer time in Europe during the early 1990s. The drink was re-released in late 2015 as a promotion to go along with the launch of Pepsi's new signature smartphone app, Pepsi Pass and an official re-release in mid-2016. And here it comes, and we're here now. In the early 1990s, a marketing fad equating clarity with purity began with the remake of Ivory Soap from its classic milky solution. The idea spread to many companies, including PepsiCo. Crystal Pepsi was marketed as a caffeine-free, clear alternative to normal colas equating clarity with purity and health. Its marketing slogan was, you've never seen a taste like this. In 1992, PepsiCo introduced Crystal Pepsi to test markets in Denver, Sacramento, Dallas, and Providence, and the product generated a positive response. Pleased with the results, PepsiCo launched the coal on April 12, 1992, and began to sell it nationwide in 1993. A large marketing campaign was launched for which the company invented the world's first photorealistic computer-generated bus wrap printing. A series of television advertisements featuring Van Halen's hit song, Right Now, premiered on national television on January 31, 1993, during Super Bowl XXVII. Another marketing ploy was to give out full-size sample bottles with the Sunday paper deliveries such as the Boston Globe and Massachusetts. In its first year, Crystal Pepsi captured a full percentage point of U.S. soft drink sales, approximately $474 million. Coca-Cola followed suit by launching Tab Clear on December 14, 1992. Initial sales were good, but quickly fell by fall 1993. Pepsi pulled the product off the market, and the final batches were delivered to retailers during the first few months of 1994. Pepsi returned several months later with a reformulated citrus drink titled Crystal from Pepsi, but that was short-lived as well. According to Coca-Cola Chief Marketing Officer Sergio Zyman, Tab Clear was an intentionally suicidal kamikaze effort to create an unpopular beverage that was positioned <laughs> as an analog of Crystal Pepsi in order to kill both in the process. The Born to Die strategy included using the poor performing Tab brand rather than Coke, labeling the product as a sugar-free diet drink to confuse consumers into thinking Crystal Pepsi had no sugar and marketing the product as if it were medicinal. Zyman said Pepsi spent an enormous amount of money on the brand and regardless, we killed it. Both of them were dead within six months. In September of 2014, following a Facebook campaign by consumers, the Coca-Cola company reintroduced the soft drink Surge, 
leading to speculation that the public and amongst the media about the return of Crystal Pepsi. In March 2015, an online campaign to bring back Crystal Pepsi began. The following month, a second and completely separate petition, spearheaded by an online competitive eating personality, Kevin the L.A. Beast Strail, generated enough interest for a call-in and email campaign featuring around 37,000 Change.org petition signatures, tens of thousands of Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram tagged comments, 15 billboards erected around Los Angeles area, and a commitment to ride a mobile billboard truck at Pepsi's Purchase New York headquarters with a gathering of supporters at a park nearby on June 15th and 16th, 2015. The interest from this campaign led to an official response by PepsiCo on June 8th, 2015, which indicated that Crystal Pepsi may be making a comeback. In November 2015, Pepsi hinted on their Twitter page that the beverage would make a comeback. In December 2015, Pepsi announced that fans of the drink could win one of 13,000 six-packs of the beverage by entering a sweepstakes via a mobile application or online at pepsipass.com between December 10th and 11th. Winners selected during the following week could receive, or would receive the beverage in time for Christmas. Although PepsiCo has remained quiet about a possible re-release, 20-ounce bottles of Crystal Pepsi have been seen frequently for sale online. Such as eBay, folks, and uh, I'll show you more about that later. In June of 2016, Pepsi announced that the drink would be making a second return, hitting the Canadian stores on July 7th and American stores on August 8th of that year. The soft drink is reformulated with caffeine and will be sold for eight weeks. I want to personally thank the LA Beast for making this happen. I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and this blast from the past is really wonderful. Had I known Crystal Pepsi would become a collector's item, I would have saved a can or two back in the day. I was only 12 in 1992, so at the time I was ignorant of the importance of sentimentality. Very little of my possessions survived my childhood. Most of my toys have been thrown out. I do still have my Superman comic book collection, so at least that's something. Anyway, this time around I have hoarded a quantity of Crystal Pepsi. I want to make sure that I have saved plenty of bottles for posterity since it is logical to assume that the internet will probably still be around in 50 years my plan is to auction these bottles off perhaps the LA Beast himself will buy a 50 year old bottle for me in the future that is if he's still alive please drive carefully you know that's a pretty interesting history you know if only it could have lasted a little longer you know they didn't give it a chance and it is kind of weird that it's just in a nondescript clear plastic container and it's clear cola, it says on the label, 250 calories, and it's got no, it's no fat in it, 90 milligrams of sodium, lots of carbs, look at that, 69 grams, serving size is one bottle, good, as we're drinking the whole thing, we'll probably drink a couple of them, uh, so let's see what it has in it, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, phosphoric acid, citric acid, sodium benzoate, Preserves freshness, it says. Sodium citrate, caffeine gum, arabic. What is that? What is it? What is arabic in terms of like a food preservative? I have to figure that out. Yeah, caffeine gum arabic. That's what it is. Caffeine in it. Natural flavor bottled under the authority of PepsiCo. Purchase New York. So that's actually the city's name. Interesting. And, uh, Crystal Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, the Pepsi Globe are trademarks of PepsiCo, partially produced with genetic engineering. Genetic engineering? Genetic engineering? What what genes are they gonna are they is this gonna enhance my genes? It says on there, look at that folks. My god. Genetic engineering. I didn't see that one coming. What does that mean? And it, it reminds me of uh, Star Trek II, you know, uh, Khan.
Chekhov, who is this man? Criminal, Captain. A product of late 20th century genetic engineering. Genetic engineering? Yes, these are genetically enhanced Pepsis. Well, anyway, I wanted to prove that this is, in fact, a brand new Pepsi. Um, that's not been opened yet, and in a second you're going to hear the telltale ch -ch -ch. It's not a sound effect. Let's listen for it. Let's wait for it. Let's go in tight. It's already starting to foam up like a Alka-Seltzer. Wow. Let's get that lid off. Wow, I'm already I'm being greeted by a fruity bouquet. This has a... Mmm. Just a very... Uh, yeah, like a fruity aroma. You know, it's not... It almost smells like perfume. Hopefully they didn't put perfume in this and mislabel it. It does smell good, though. Um, actually, it kind of smells like 7-Up, but don't tell them that. Uh, <laughs> is that a Coke product? <laughs> well, all right. I kind of feel bad opening this because, you know, but I did. I do have others, like I said earlier in my speech. I have, and I'm going to keep buying them for the next eight weeks. I'm going to try to get as many as I can. And just uh, keep them here. I work at a convenience store, but oddly enough, AMPM does not have it. It's weird. I had to buy these at Little Butte Market. They've got plenty. So here we go with Crystal Pepsi. Also, I can almost hear the theme in my head. Right now! No tomorrow! And I can't sing. Little Van Halen. Although, that, that was in the past. That's an awesome song, and as far as it goes, I mean, you can't, when it comes to classics, you can't really beat Van Halen. But, you know, I think it's time, well, for another classic. Um, I was thinking about this little thing. A much better song all right so let's try crystal pepsi i'm going to keep this label facing the camera so you guys can see it all the time mm. oh man it's been more than 20 years since it touched my lips let's find out what we've been missing You know, it's, it's sweet. It's much sweeter than normal Pepsi, and uh, if you're a Pepsi drinker, that's saying something, because Pepsi's on the sweet side. Actually, I think, I think Coke's a little sweeter than Pepsi, but it kind of reminds me of Coke. Must be that genetic engineering. Wow. So there's Crystal Pepsi. I want to talk about how it tastes. It's, uh, I mean, it's good. It tastes really good. It's, has a very sharp bite to it. The carbonation, at least in this particular bottle, uh, burns my throat quite a bit each time I take a sip. But it has a sweet aftertaste. But it's, uh, 
It definitely does taste different than regular Pepsi to me. Um, it just it seems lighter, I guess, if that makes any sense. Well, when I drink a Pepsi, it usually it's a very very strong flavor, a very full flavor, and this seems like a. Ooh, I'm already belching from it. Is it? Maybe it's a watered down version of Pepsi. But it definitely tastes, I should have a side by side. You know, I, don't, I can't think of everything. I should have had a regular Pepsi right here with me. <clears throat> but, you know, if you try to forget that you're drinking a Pepsi, Yeah, the bubbles tickle my tongue, so it's pretty bubbly. And the aftertaste is not as strong as Pepsi is. Um, it doesn't uh, linger in your mouth. The flavor kind of goes away right away. Mmm. It's kind of sugary. I wonder if it's made, does it say it's made 69 grams of sugar. Lots of sugar in this. And carbs. So this isn't really the healthiest thing in the world to drink. Um, because I don't know if people know this or not, but sugars and carbs are pretty much the same thing. Um, carbs, when you eat them, your body metabolizes them into sugar. So if you're already eating sugar, you're getting that too. So carbs and sugar are the same thing. So this is just chalk. Might as well just be drinking sugar. Pure sugar. You know, I wish I could remember what it tastes like 20 years ago. I guess L.A. Beast could know. He's He would know. He's got, he actually has the ability to have the old Pepsi, Crystal Pepsi right next to the new one and do a little taste test, even if the can is more than 20 years old. But I have to say that this is wonderful to be drinking this after all these years. Although it's a new product, I mean, it's it would be nice if they would have put it in the original packaging, the packaging they used from the early 90s. You know, it'd be nice if they had it in the cans. It'd be nice if you can buy it in a six pack. As it stands now, you can only buy them individually as 20 ounce bottles. And also, you got to think about the landfill. I mean, it's only going to be released for like seven weeks, or eight weeks, but a lot of people are going to be buying these and just throwing these away. I mean, a lot more are going to be keeping them, you know, but, and that wonder, it makes me wonder, will this still be good in 20 years? I mean, will it eat through the plastic? I mean, plastic's kind of cheap anymore. Huh. But... I'm not disappointed. I guess, you know, it was, I mean, technically this is the holy grail. Oh, you know, I need to use that. Damn it. I'll be right back. I, the holy grail, I want, that's what I want to put on Facebook. I just, I sent a picture of it on Facebook to show everybody that I have it. I'm going to call it the Holy Grail of Soda Pop. That's very clever. I always come up with genius at the wrong time. <clears throat> Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. The more I drink it, it's just, uh... If it wasn't called Pepsi, I might not even know. Yes, the Holy Grail. Crystal Pepsi. Mm. It's pretty good, actually. A little on the sweet side. Well, that's alright, you know? Well, 
And so, once again, I'd really like to thank um, the LA Beast for making this happen. Um, that is just extraordinary. You know, Crystal Pepsi. Huh? Cheers, huh? Yeah, it's kind of, one final thing, it's kind of weak. It's like Pepsi flavored water, I guess. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. They had a bite at first. And oh yeah, you know, I don't want to get off track. I keep forgetting. But you chumps over the past year who paid a hundred dollars or more for a bottle how do you feel about that now do you feel pretty smart you feel like it was a wise investment you know and the next time you feel like doing something stupid and spending money wasting your money throwing it away why don't you just send it to me I'll give you a PO box you can just if you feel like just throwing money away just give it away to me you know put it to good use let me use it I can't believe how many people bought these things on eBay. I can't believe how many listings there are. Mm. Well, it at least doesn't have that terrible aftertaste of Diet Pepsi. Ugh. Crystal Pepsi. Pepsi that's clear. Pepsi that's that's amazing. And I'll keep the I'll probably keep this empty as a souvenir. But just because I drink this Crystal Pepsi does not mean we're done. There's actually more to do today before we say goodbye. As it turns out, I'm actually a fan of the LA Beast. I've been monitoring his channel for a long time. I've been a subscriber for years. And first, I'd just like to say, if you're watching, um, I hope you're doing better. I saw your latest blog. Or is it vlog? I saw your latest communique online where you described your horrific car crash. Well, I'm glad you made it through. Uh, I suspect that you'll probably be psychologically impaired from it for a while. It really makes you think twice about a lot of things. You know. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to um, thank you for spearheading this revival of Crystal Pepsi. I can't believe it worked. I cannot believe it. So anyway, uh, but there's more. In the spirit of LA Beast, I want to do a challenge. It's more like a a stunt, you know, just a, a way to show my appreciation for Crystal Pepsi and for the LA Beast and to do something crazy on the internet and to see how people like that. And so, without further ado, the challenge will begin.
in the spirit of L.A. Beast, I dedicate this to you. I will now cut off my own testicles and consume them for you, YouTube, in honor of Crystal Pepsi's re-release. I will now permanently disfigure myself forever. I'm not kidding, this is real. Got my knife. And the only reason I can't have my camera below the waist is because it's illegal. Otherwise, I'd show you what's going on down there. But trust me, this is legit. Ugh. People are crazy. They'll do anything for attention. Now. <sighs> Crystal Pepsi. You're so worth it. thing I've ever done. I don't think I can. Oh God, we've gone this far. We gotta take it to the edge. We gotta go further. folks that was just one I got one more to go Go out and get one today. If you have the balls. I need, I need an ambulance. I need an ambulance. 
I need an ambulance. Where's my phone? Oh my god. Nine one one, what's the address of the emergency? I've just done something really st stupid. I'm bleeding. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I need help right away. There's so much blood. Please hurry. Please hurry. Oh my god. 